let's give this a shot here to remember. Now, if you guys remember, I gave you a formula for growth and decay models, right? Our growth and decay models, we came into A, actually, Y equals, yes, question? No? OK. Y to the E RT. Right? And that was just telling, if I said, hey, I might give you guys models for growth, but um, I might give you models for growth. Or if you don't, then here's a model that you can use for your you know, growth, um, growth or decay. So what they're saying is the half-life of radioactive radium is um, 1,620 years. What percent of radium will be presented after 100 years? Okay? Now, we don't know how much of this radium we have, do we? But we know that we are going to have half of it when we have um, our rate times 1,620 years. Would you guys agree with that? Huh? R is your rate. We don't know what it's decreasing from. Oh, OK. All right. Sorry, I'll, sorry. I'll, I, I was leaving R for your radium. Yes, the question? Sorry, 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 sorry. OK, A is your initial amount, right? Your initial amount, you're going to have half of your initial amount after 1,620 years. The problem is we don't know how that is decreasing. All we know is after 1,620 years, our initial amount, we're going to have half of it, right? So what we need to do to be able to solve how much we're going to have in 100 years or the percent we're going to have left in 100 years is we need to figure out how is this radium decreasing, right? What is this rate that we are finding? So I need to solve for r. Now you say, well, I have two variables. I have an a and an r. But ladies and gentlemen, we wrote a as in 1 half a. So if I solve, I can divide by a. So therefore, now I have 1 half equals e to the 1,620 r. Now, this is going back to problems that we did like last class period. How do you solve when you have this on both sides? You can take the natural logarithm of both sides. So I say ln of 1 half equals ln of e. Therefore, that goes to that. So I say ln of 1 half equals 1,620r divided by 1,620. So therefore, we can say the rate that this radium decreases is equal to ln of 1 half divided by 1,620. Does everybody understand that or have questions on where I got to this point? I'm not going to value. The, I'm not going to evaluate what the rate, what the r is yet. I'm going to leave that as a number because I don't want to approximate. But that is the rate that this radium decreases over 1,620 years. Your initial value is now going to be half, right? So for an initial value to go to half, for 1,620 years, your rate is going to be equal to this. Now, that is a value that I had, just haven't determined yet. So now what they're asking is, um, after 100 years, so half-life radioactive radium is um, what will percent of the radium, yes? How did you know you put the 1 half there? Because it says the. If I say you have 100 grams right, of something, and I say, what well, you're going to have half of that, well, then obviously you're going to have 50 grams. right? Well, yeah. and, but the thing is, we don't know how much radium we have. What they're saying is that what the half-life represents is you're going to have half of this substance. So you don't know what A is, but you know that half of it is 1 half times A. Does that make sense? Well, y, got re y is your n value. And your n, va your n value is equal to 1 half a. So what we're saying is y is equal to 1 half a. OK. So. 
So now, let's go back to our equation. So we have y equals our a, which is our initial amount, which we still do not know. E, do we know our r though now? Yeah, it's r is a crazy equation, right? It's ln to the 1 half divided by 1620 times t. So what they're asking us is, what percent of the radian will be presented after 100 years? We don't know what the end value is, and we still don't know what the present value is. All right? So now I need to go ahead and compute this. So I'm going to go back and take my calculator. Thank you, Juliana. And in my calculator, yes? So in my calculator, I'm going to do ln of 0.5 divided by 1,620. And I'm going to multiply that by 100. Did I do that? Right? Ln of 1 half, did I write my thing up? OK. Then I'm going to take my e, raise it to that answer. OK. And what you guys will have is you're going to have 0.958. So y equals a times 0.958, or y equals 0.96 times a as I round this out. OK, so I'm just going to round that to 0.96. So what that means is if here's your initial amount, after 100 years, you're going to multiply it by 96. So therefore, after 100 years, you're going to have 96% of the radium left. So if it, goes, if it takes 1,620 years for us to have half of the radium, after 100 years, we're going to only going to have 96% left of the radium. Okay. Yes? 